Alright, hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today is going to be a little different. I'm going to be kind of showing off a build that I've been working on for probably about six months now. Let's see, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So yeah, six months now, just about. Uh, it's called Beautiful Badlands. And here we go. Loading in as always, as always. <sighs> Seems to be taking a minute. Maybe? We shall see. Uh, uh I don't know why this is taking so long. It's kind of strange, not gonna lie. A little weird. Possibly. Um. This seems to be taking a really long time. I might just reload Minecraft really quick. Sorry about this technical difficulty. I did not do what I wanted to do. Um, okay. Ugh, oh, technical difficulties are always the best. Just notice, you know, all the, the lovely sarcasm in my voice. And we should be back. Hopefully it doesn't take forever to load. Minecraft, you can do it. We'll see. <laughs> we we shall see. All righty. Hello, hello. Please load correctly this time. Be so sad if it didn't load. Oh, oh. See that Steve skin? We're just not gonna talk about that. Come on, load my normal skin. Um, I feel like today, since we're not doing Witchy Hollow as so much Sailor Witch, maybe I might want to play around with Hmm, another skin. Maybe show off another skin. Oops, that did it. Show packs, there we go. I thought I clicked on that. All skins. I have quite a few, so, you know. Um, let's see, I have one from that. 
anime creatures. 8-bit minis. I'm not a big fan of the minis, personally. Um, a piggy, an arctic fox, a panda, a moose, mouse, a bear. Yeah, I'm not feeling these. Uh, this is a, this little fox looks kind of cute, but um, aquatic force. That one character is way too happy to be completely honest. <laughs> All right. Hmm, I'm not sure I like the eyes on these. Yeah, the eyes are kind of weirding me out. They do have a lot of choices, though. Uh, automation, boo. Ooh. It is getting pretty close to Halloween. We could do a Halloween one. Oh, I don't have this one yet? I thought I was looking at mine. Hold on. There we go. I do own it. Why... Um, let's see, brainy skeleton, a regular skeleton, a grim creeper, ooh, that's clever, I'm probably gonna go with that one, probably, a vampire S, an evil witch, a hoodie skull, that one's pretty cool too, actually, hmm, it's kind of a toss up. We're gonna go... Oh, there's more? Doll ghost, mummy, werewolf... Werewolf? Why is it blue? The heck? Hoodie skull, ghostly ghoul... I think we're gonna go with the hoodie skull. Just for today, guys. Just for today. Alright, let's try this again. See if we can load beautiful Badlands that I'm gonna kind of show off because I can. As we're actually listening to a Ghostbusters song. There we go. Can't complain. It's Halloween. I love Halloween. Not gonna lie. Such a classic song. I uh, hadn't actually seen this movie until this last year. Don't hate, but yeah. So it's kind of a older feeling song for me, but it's all right around Halloween. Any other time of the year, it's kind of like seems out of place to me because I did hear this song around Halloween, and it's related to a very spooky movie, so yeah, it's kind of just what I associate it with and any other time, just out of place, so. Oh, why isn't my world loading? This makes me sad. Oh, and I believe I have a texture pack loaded on this one. It's Hattori Craft. I forgot to kind of show that off. Hmm, I might have to take the texture pack off because it is taking a while to load. Hmm. We might be doing vanilla. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, so, as this loads in, this is a project I'm working on. It is definitely not 100% my creation. Um, I am adding some of my own elements to it that I like, but it is by far not 100% mine, so I'm not taking credit for it, but yeah. Um, what am I... Okay, we're gonna put this up, and then I'm gonna talk about my world. 
Alright, 18. 18 should be enough. Oops. I, that was weird. My mic was, or my controller wasn't moving or anything, but it just decided to kind of crackle there. Alright. Ah, oh, first try. Alright, so I have this big long pathway. So that area was spawn. And this is actually my main area. So I'm kind of gonna go with a similar Ooh, I'm coming in hot. Alright, there we go. Alright, there we go. So I'm gonna do something similar. Um with which is hollow. I have a build that I really particularly like, but this is not an entire chunk. So I wanna build the main tower as an entire chunk. So I will still have my little so this is a trampoline. I will have to definitely figure out more lava options because the lava's not gonna light the entire chunk. So I think I'm still gonna do the four wide stairs going around the outside. And then that'll leave me, so it'll be four and four on both sides. So it'll leave me an eight by eight section in the middle. And that'll give me enough for my my trampoline, which is this. Uh, you jump onto slime blocks. And then that'll leave me enough for that. And on the sides, I was thinking possibly either in the corners or something like that. Or maybe on the four corners of the slime jump doing lava. I don't know. We'll have to do something to light the center up as well. And then using some of that extra space to do my water elevators. So, uh, so many, so many. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna kill all these llamas because these llamas are annoying me. There's one. There's two. Oh, that one made it. That's a tough little llama. Let's see how you do. Oh my god, that was a terrible shot. Okay, there we go. Alright, you didn't drop anything. Um, I am missing a glass block there for some reason. I'm uncomfortable with that because I have no idea when that happened. Um, this is my slime farm. It's pretty basic design. Um, there's several tutorials on YouTube. It's kind of where I got the idea, but you get the idea. Slime blocks. Slime balls. Slime blocks. Um, this is a work in progress at the base of this. Loveliness. What the heck? Oh, I was riding the llama? What the heck? That was weird. Alright. I guess I was close enough to ride the llama. Alright, so there's some leather. Wow, that kind of startled me, actually. Um, I also have my not, or my kelp farm down here and next to this so this area I'm in the process of digging out will be a larger bamboo farm than what I've already got um but yeah this is my my kelp farm it's very su efficient um I don't really notice any loss of kelp not that it would matter that much it's somewhere close to 40 blocks long so almost three chunks took forever to dig out because i didn't have enchanted pickaxes at the time or shovels so it was all just like diamond and yeah it was it was a nightmare and then 
Uh, yeah, so this will be the next spot for the bamboo farm, which shouldn't be too bad. I will need a lot more glass than I've currently got. No, no worries. And let's see, let's go back down really quick. Oh, I almost fell. That would have been bad. I would have made it, but it still would have been bad. Um, oh, I forgot to... Up here is my flying machine. Um, it's a very simplified version. And there's the button to start it. So now we'll have to watch it actually go. But it comes along and it breaks all of these kelp blocks. Obviously there's not that many. But I usually try to cycle it before I go anywhere. So that way there the redstone doesn't mess up. Um, I also have an AFK character that I do leave here. Uh, but it goes down here and then it has a return station. And it just automatically sends it back this way. Sends it all the way back over here. Or I did figure out an automatic system with um, observers. It did take me a minute, but essentially the observers watch the top blocks there. And then so there's redstone on those blocks. It goes to the center observer. And then it signals down. And then it goes over there. And then it goes to where that button was. Yeah, it's quite the weird overuse of observers, but hey, it works. So there's the observers coming down, and then they come into this block right here, and then they send a red sun signal. There is something of a delay, but it's not that big of a deal. It gives some extra kelp to grow an extra block, you know, because sometimes it signals on the first one. Um, and then, <laughs> so this is where I grow all my vines to get my mossy things, which actually I need to take care of that really quick. Shears, there we go. All right, so we're just going to get rid of some of these because I actually need more mossy regular stone so hopefully we don't knock out there we go and yeah so i just go along with shears i usually try to get a full set oops a full thing of shears done for each thing but i was in a hurry last time so i didn't get both sides of my vine farm i guess I wish there was an easier way to do this, but there's not. So we just do it this way. And I think that hopper grabbed that one. Oh, it did not. Alrighty then. Oh, they're stuck on the... Alright. There we go. And then just go up another layer. Alright, so I gotta be kind of careful around the glass. Fortunately, it's not lava source blocks, so I don't have to worry about it spilling out. But it's still good to practice caution. Air on the side of caution, or whatever, however you say that. And we're almost to the last row. And I wish I had gotten more of this last time. Ugh. And this will be our last row. Because I do need to bring this back, a lot of this back to um, where we started today, my little starter area. So my goal for the starter area is to provide beds, a full set of tools, both um, fortune and silk touch because I do have librarians that sell both of those books and then um, a full set of armor and um, a full set of weapons that will be fully enchanted and everything hopefully will be enchanted um, I do have a 
pretty decent XP farm set up here so that way there it makes it not too bad to um, start getting a lot of crazy like enchantments and stuff like that so yeah this is kind of tedious sorry <clears throat> it just needs to be done so, you know what we're gonna put one up here that way there you it can grow down and we'll get more of a benefit off of this and yeah all right i should actually like make a designated area <laughs> for my vine farm yeah this didn't really grow because nobody was over here so we'll just let that keep going Put the shears back. There we go. And I'm gonna grab some of these. Uh, we're just gonna grab two stacks and we're gonna craft it into mossy stone bricks. And then this is gonna go back because we don't need it. And then we're gonna make stone brick walls. Alright, I don't know how much we'll get out of that, but hopefully enough to finish what we have at the starter area. So anyway, this is Home Sweet Home. Alright, we're going to use our little nifty difty elevator once we actually get to it, because I don't feel like running up all them stairs. Alright, so this is the top of the slime farm. As you can see, each each layer will spawn slimes. This is an entire slime chunk. I've not quite finished this, but it's alright. I really need that much slime anyway, so yeah. This is digging out because eventually I am going to build down here. I just haven't decided what. So I'm just digging it out because I can. <laughs> I guess. Alright, so... So this is my unfinished living area. Uh, I haven't really decided what to do with it. I did offer it to someone. And there's yet another llama. Alright, so I gave him like a little starter chest. It was somebody that was trying to teach how to play Minecraft. He had never played Minecraft before. Unfortunately, he was learning on his phone, and being the render distance being as it is, it just didn't go well. And now I just have this space for this dude that's probably never going to play again. That's okay. I'll probably eventually convert it into what I want it to be, which is a nice little living space. Um, kind of like a guest room and all the storage so this is my living area the downstairs area is gonna look pretty similar to this but like I said it's gonna be more of a guest area so it'll have like the crafting tables and then these and just all the storage that they could possibly want and it'll be their little area and I won't touch it this is my little area um I have these little cabinets and on top is an end chest i tried having the end chest on the bottom but unfortunately considering these are considered solid blocks i could not have them above and still have the end chest open so that's that's that it's not a big deal you can't really see it so i'm not that worried about it but yeah this is my my lovely bed i kind of made it a modern one I had a big like four poster looking one it just didn't fit in this space very well plus i wanted the storage like the very personal storage because i kind of just when new people come i kind of just let them use whatever they want because it's not that hard for me to get new stuff so yeah but yeah this is all my storage i have a lot of junk <laughs> And I had a fox here. He's still tied. But I don't know where he went. So this was supposed to be his little food bowl. So 
So yeah, we just... And then this will be my secondary storage because I am kind of obsessive like that. So, and then this is all my enchanted books and I ran out of SAR item frames, so none of this is labeled, but all of this is labeled accordingly. I try to keep it that way. Redstone is just redstone items, not necessarily just redstone. And this is one of my quote unquote auto farms. I have not replanted it recently, so it just looks like that. <laughs> um, so essentially it's one of the water ones nothing too fancy um or i tend to get a much larger harvest if i use fortune three on a uh on a hoe so i normally use fortune three and just do this all by hand but i was showing somebody so i just did the water thing and never replanted it and then this is where I do most of my wood chopping for oak because I find the super tall trees kind of annoying to cut down, not gonna lie. But I got tired of running back and forth, so I've been using just regular oak trees where I've been building because I've been using a ton of oak. Um, this is some of my nether wart. I don't really use too much of it, so it's kind of neglected. I thought I saw something. Alright, so this is my collection system for my farms. And, oh yes, I have automatic bee farms. Hi kitty. And some random carrots. Don't, don't judge the carrots. But, um, so it's a very basic setup. Essentially. Excuse me. God, I'm yawning already. That's not a good thing. Essentially, what happens is, you have an observer facing this block somehow. I find it more beneficial to be horizontally looking down into the block, or laterally. I don't even know what that's called. And you have glo or glowstone redstone, and then you have a dispenser, and it dispenses either a bottle or a sh or uses a shears and it the shears provide honeycomb the bottles provide straight honey and then it drops into these hoppers there is two hoppers here and yeah it is does actually have quite a bit of loss but i'm happy with it i don't use that much honey by myself so it's not a big deal um, let's see, here's more of my oak, and then the terrible puffer fish that I have no idea why I put them there, but I did. And I just don't want to get rid of them. And I have a thing for end rods, so yeah. <laughs> I have enough blaze rods to probably, um, never need blaze rods again, so yeah. And chorus fruit. This is my zombie curing, uh, the villager zombie curing area. Um, I think I do have, yes. Splash potions of weakness, golden apples, and a minecart. So I essentially, um, unfortunately, this area is not actually close enough for the spawner, but. Up here is, so I'll stand up here for a few minutes, and until I, zombie villagers tend to make a slightly different snarl, so I just wait until I think I hear one, and then I go down here with a sword, and kill as many as I can without killing the zombie villager, obviously, and then I open these. And kill some more. I try to get enough where they don't like fling out everywhere and then like jump over the fence. So then it's just like usually I get it down to like two or three zombies and then I let them out. And then I kill all of the ones but the zombie villager of course. And then I close these back up. 
Oops. And then I cure the zombie villager. And then while he's... After he's eaten the golden apple, I... Oops, the wrong thing. I, um... I take this minecart and I put it right here and then I open this and he just sees me and sees that I'm accessible and walks to me and then gets stuck in the minecart. Zombie villagers cannot. Um, this is my potions shulker box. Zombie villagers cannot direct minecarts until they become actual villagers. So once they become actual villagers, they, they see the other zombies in here and they get scared and they start going this way. And then this goes and leads them this way and this way and leads them this way and we probably could have just oh yeah this is my I wasn't sure where to put a enchantment table so I just did this <laughs> the makeshift one and they go all the way over here and it's nice because it's a mesa biome, so there is no villages to worry about. But we go all the way this way. And... Just keep going, and you just keep going, and you just keep going. <laughs> and then see how this track stops, but they have them that they hop onto this track. So that way there they can't go anywhere. They just get stuck here. And this is my shepherd village. I do have a couple of farmers and a couple of librarians and a couple clerics just because it was convenient. I needed them at the time. And this is also not a design of mine, not gonna lie, but it was too cute to pass up. So this is an automatic sheep farm. And essentially, each color here corresponds with the sheep that's in that little area. And yes, they're well fed. We are we are very ethical here, except for the llamas. We don't like the llamas. <laughs> and yeah. So how does this work again? <laughs> so essentially, you have a dirt block. And this, this little guy here is facing a dirt block, and how did this go? Okay, so before you place the dirt block, you drop a minecart with a hopper, and then you put the dirt block down, and a minecart with a hopper and then a ho like uh, on a hopper underneath and then you put the dirt block down and then you face this observer into the dirt block so every time the dirt block changes it sends a redstone signal to this observer which then updates this redstone light and then it's got a dispenser that dispenses shears and automatically shears your sheep. And the wool gets picked up by this little minecart with a hopper and dispenses it into this little chest here. As you can see, my system works pretty well. Um, so yeah, the more someone's here, the more it, um, more wool you get. Eventually I will have a full chest of wool and that will be nice of each color and I have every si all 16 colors here. Also, and these are actually what the farmers were for, the redstone torch also updates these dispensers which have bread in them which help keep your villagers happy and well fed. They, I do not have any extra beds so the villagers will not breed. And this is just a sheep face made out of wool and that's just a sheep face made out of glass. You can't really tell because of the texture pack but it's it's the same colors as this. And then oh yeah and then in front of my storage chests for these I have each color dye so that way they're 
Um, the villagers do trade, or the shepherds do trade dye, so I have a lot of dyes too. I just like keeping everything kind of together. Uh, villagers do trade for brown, black, dark gray, light gray, and white wool. So I do go through a lot more of this kind of wool than any of my colorful wools. So that's always nice. And then I have a secret little stash up here of tradable items for the cleric, the librarian, and the farmer. And then all of my extra stuff is color-coded, so stuff I've traded from the villagers. So I have some banners, and some beds. Um, I think that was extra dye, yep, and like carpet, so yeah, I just put all my like random stuff that I kind of traded to get the villagers to be, um, max level villagers, but yeah, and then I put a bunch of these up here just so I didn't have to do a bunch of light down below, <laughs> and I was smart about this, I did put two, I did create these two iron golems so that way there even if I unintentionally hit a villager it would not be that big of a deal and this is where I store all my emeralds obviously I do a lot of trading <laughs> I have a crafting bench for no reason and a bell to make the villagers happy and I just kind of lock them in here because uh, stuff kept spawning out here and attacking them so yeah this is my skeleton farm. Uh, the reason I have so many cakes, to be completely honest, is for some reason when there's a lot of skeletons in here, the arrows tend to glitch through the glass and hit you, and I don't normally carry food in large quantities, and I think I got it from like the, the, villa the um, farmers, so I just had a bunch of them anyway. So it's just easier this way. And of course, as always, I have an ender chest here. Um, usually when I am doing a lot of, why am I stuck? A lot of skeleton farming, I will actually um, put this as my spawn just in case I wasn't paying attention and they killed me. There they are, okay, just get my stuff back right away. And yeah, that was my massive storage system. Oh, I forgot to go over that in the other one. So I have, for all of these spawners, I have the same setup. And for some reason, I did underneath here all campfires. Or no, not campfires. All, um, just netherrack lit on fire. Don't ask me why. It made sense at the time. I was very tired when I built this room. But essentially, so, one side will be all of your unenchanted items, so starting at the bottom will be the worst armor, which is leather, then gold, which is a softer armor, followed by chainmail, and followed by iron, which is a very rare drop, but still possible, so I have it. So it goes unenchanted helmets. Uh, chest plates, leggings, and feet. Um, back here would just be my random junk because skeletons don't drop much else. I think I have like a bunch of arrows. Yep. So this is where I store all the arrows. And then just a lot of cobblestone because I didn't feel like bringing it all the way back and baking it. And then this side would be the same setup as that side. So, enchanted leather helmet, enchanted gold helmet, enchanted chain mail, and one single enchanted iron, which actually has a pretty decent amount on it, so. And then same thing, chest, legs, and a random helmet. Don't ask, I don't, I don't know how that got in there. And then uh, feet. We're just going to put this in here and not acknowledge the fact that that happened. And then this was where I was putting all my enchanted bows and all my unenchanted bows, which is what I was using for my dispensers. So yeah, I never have a shortage of dispenser bows. Yay! 
And then this is where my, my pickup system is. And then obviously, um, your generic uh, trident killer. So, it just kind of pushes the trident around and technically hits the skeletons. I still get the XP. Um, this direction is going to be my way to the stronghold because I already found the stronghold and got to the end. It's just such a long way, I just haven't gotten there yet. Also, I hadn't decided what I was doing with this hallway yet, but I had some epiphanies, so this is going to change soon. It's actually going to become a overflow storage system. Because lord knows I need it. Um, these chests were all the supplies that I was thinking I was going to need for this. Obviously now I'm going to need more. These were, you can breed sheep in boats and the babies will wander off so you can grab the babies. So this is how I was doing this. And I have a bunch, these are all the different colored sheep. The only one I'm one down on I believe. I was missing one. Oh, maybe. I accidentally killed one of my colored sheep, so yeah, I am one short. Here he is, this guy right here. You can't tell what color he is because he's sheared, but yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right, it's from, it's one of the new nether blocks. Alright. Um, this was going to be my map wall. I got very fed up with it. This was a 4x4 four four map and it took me forever, but very proud. You can see my little uh, little trail there. So there is that. Actually, this needs to be updated, so we're going to take that with us too. <laughs> Alright, um, I'm trying to think of what I should show now. Oh, I forgot. Oh my goodness gracious me. I also have another village which just has... Oh, they didn't get me. Alright. Um, I have another village which just... This was my berries. Yep, okay. This is my little berry acres. <laughs> uh, I have another village that actually just has bread villagers, so... Yeah. And once again, there's more llamas. But yeah, so I uh, have <laughs> a ravine and I'm just making it into a village. I just filled one layer with that. Um, this is my blacksmith smithing area. I am going to have to go through and kill some of these guys because uh, they get really confused. <laughs> this is going to be my farming area. Um, so, yeah. Wait, was that kid piggyback riding? Oh no, he's just standing, okay. And so I have two farms. This was going to be my little fisherman's hut. Um, there's going to be water coming out of that. It's kind of similar to that. So, yeah. And then back here... I was going to have the priest, and this was going to be like a big church, but I haven't gotten that far yet, so I think it was gonna, the church was probably going to start right about here, and then go, yeah. I really should finish this, and cure some more villagers. You know what, I'm probably, after I get done, don't kill me, okay. Um, after I get done, why is this song so loud? I love Halloween, but you don't need to be screaming it. Jeez. Okay. Um. What else? Oh, we can go up. We can go up. Uh, up is this way. Okay. So, this actually goes up to, like, 200 and something. I'm eventually in quotations, going to be building a, 
um, Creeper and Golem farm at the top of this. I've not figured out how I'm going to be getting the villagers up to said Golem farm, but that is the thought process. It's going to be a Golem farm, and then on top of that is going to be the Creeper farm. Both of which are a chunk, and in between the two, I was going to have like a little area to AFK for both. That was the idea. Um, this is my automatic chicken collecting stuff. Um, yeah, there's green uh, carpet in there because it looks like kind of like grass. So, yeah. Oh, excuse me. But there's a bunch of hoppers underneath all of the things. They're obviously very full because I'm one person and I never use that many eggs. Um, this is where I was originally doing sugarcane, obviously. Obviously, I've gotten much grander. Oops. And then, um, let's see, down here is my egg collection. As you can see, very full. I will never need eggs, like, ever. And up here is my cactus collection. Actually, I should probably cook some of these. We're, we're just going to cook all of this. But, um, very basic system. So, cactus registers fence post as not a solid block however they do need to have an empty space next to them and the fence post does not count as an empty space so every time one of these cactus grows it grows because it thinks that it's not a solid block and then it can't stay there because that is something that is occupying that space. And the water just kind of carries it down to that little hopper, and yeah. And it goes down into my chest. And then that was my infinite water source. And this goes up quite a few levels. So, yeah. Um, I just kind of work on it as I go along. Obviously, I'm one person. I do not need this much cactus. But, yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, this is going to get quite massive. Uh, I think it looks kind of like a parking garage, so I think it's funny. That's uh, just me. But, yeah. And this is taking a while. I'm, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, this is just a lot of the stuff that I just work on. I don't know. And then here's my ladder to get in and out of the chicken coop. Just for whatever reason. Um, here's one of my donkeys and copper, one of my horses. I don't know what happened to Suzuki. I had a really fast one named Suzuki and... I don't know where they went. Um, this is my birch forest. Oh wait, is Suzuki over here? I think I had Suzuki over here now that I'm thinking about it. And once again, with the llamas. Sorry, llamas just start cluttering up everything. It's really annoying. And they don't ever seem to go away, so... Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do with llamas. thoroughly annoyed with mom. Alright. Uh, hi, moo cows. Alright. Is this one named? This one is not named. This might be a mule. 
Oh, this is a horse. Okay. I have a couple mule. I had a couple mules. I might have off them at some point. Um, here's all my puppies. Aren't they adorable? And all my kitties. As you can tell, I don't really like creepers. <laughs> um, same concept with the lava. It is gonna go all the way up. I just haven't gotten to all the way up yet. Um, basic. Basic, basic, basic. Um, what is this called? Sugarcane farm. And then on the back side, I have a matching one for bamboo. And I'm also working on that, not full time, just as I need or as I want to. I do have an AFK spot here, and yeah. Um, so this is the redstoning for both the farms. It's a nice little AFK spot. Um, I liked how this provided a lot of light. This provided a lot of light. All I need to do is close the door and AFK here. But it's the same concept all the way up. So there's that. I just have a couple levels so far. So yeah, that's about as far as I've gotten. Um, so, oh yeah, I was going to show you the actual iron farm that I have right now. This way. I had to do it 90 something blocks away because of the villagers. So this is an iron farm. And yeah, so up here are some villagers. They're usually in the corners. And then there's beds underneath the second layer here. There's 20 beds. Um, the villagers are standing in water, which helps them not unlink from their workstation or bed. And yeah. Um, I have 20 villagers, and every 10 villagers that have worked at their workstation, 75% if... Okay, so every 10 villagers, a single iron golem can spawn. As long as the villagers, 75% of the villagers, have worked at their workstation within the last Minecraft day. So they have a bunch of little Minecraft or um, fletching tables because they're super easy to make. They're super cheap. They're like wood and flint. <laughs> and yeah, so then they spawn iron golems and cats. Iron golems provide flowers which make red dye they also provide iron obviously and the cats provide string and then over here i have my lovely um gold farm and xp farm so in eight hours i have tested this from level zero in eight hours of AFKing, I can get to level 100 XP. So yeah, it definitely makes it very beneficial. I get a lot of gold out of this, and gold makes it easy to trade with um, clerics. So yes, and I get a lot of XP out of it, which makes enchanting much easier. Just all around beneficial. So yeah, this is... This is the farm that is going to eventually go on top of my tower. But it has to be at least like 70 something blocks away from any other crafting station. So it's going to be built way up in the sky. And this is approximately one chunk. And then this little railway actually goes back to where my um, sheep farm is, or my wool farm. So yeah, there's that. And we're just gonna head back this way. Maybe. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thought I got lost in my own world for a second. 
And yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. All right. Uh, also, those are my. Um, I I can get more vines and my cocoa beans, which is where I get my brown dye from. Don't really do anything with cookies, so meh. <laughs> All right, we are gonna go down to the first level really quick. Ooh, I almost didn't make that. That would have been bad. All right, and we're just gonna throw all of these in here to get baked and give me even more red or red dye red dye wow green dye <laughs> Whoa. never have enough green dye if you're a Slytherin and yeah there's my one <laughs> captain sign <laughs> just not gonna talk about yeah Boop. all right and now we are going to head back and continue working on... Oh, I never showed you the nether. Oops. We're going to take the bouncy way. Because it is a lot of fun. Oh, there's, there's my nether portal. Just chilling in a hallway. <coughs> and yeah. <sighs> is that another llama? It is another. Oh, I swear to God. There we go. I kind of wish that, like, you could set the spawn rate for, like, wandering traders really low so then you would never have llamas all over the place like I do. That'd be, be fabulous. Alright, so this is my nether, if it ever loads in. So I have a little safe room, like, uh, I'm pretty sure pretty much everyone does. I, of course, spawned right on the edge of nothing, so I had to build a little veranda all the way around. Uh, I did spawn right above another fortress, so there is that. And, uh, I will show you up first, just because. I kind of like saving the best for last, you know. Uh, I really want to use my thing in here, but I know I'll just like end up in the ceiling, so. Yeah, actually, what are my, oh, they're not too bad. So, I just need netherrack a lot, so I just keep mining this whole section out. That's why this pathway is so big. It actually doesn't need to be this big. But this pathway leads almost directly to a blaze spawner, which I have a trident killer at, which is how I got all my blaze rods and blaze powder. And I did actually spawn all of this before the nether update, so I have to go quite a distance in some directions in order to find anything. <laughs> any of the new biomes so there is that unfortunateness but in the other direction is actually quite a short distance so no worries this is actually was going to be all my storage i just never got around to it i guess but yeah here's my my blaziness um so lava does not push blazes lava doesn't push anything apparently but water does <laughs> But you can't use water in the nether. So I just have a minecart going in circles. Very, very back and forth circles. But hey, it works. And then it comes up here. And these pistons push the blazes into my, my trap here. And yeah, that's how that works. And then I have a bunch of solid blocks just to help prevent the blazes from coming this way. Because sometimes they do like to kind of hop back into the minecart. And yeah, pushes them down here. And yeah, it, it works. Not as streamlined as I'd like it, but this is the lever for 
the pistons, so as you can see, it just kind of it's on a timer and just goes back and forth. I should pro I wish I could slow that down a little bit, but I guess it's about as slow as it would get. So yeah, yeah. So there's that one. This kind of just goes to the rest of another fortress. You, you know what another fortress looks like, I hope, by now. So, now I'll get to show you my build that I was actually quite proud of. Um, it's really cute. It's in the middle of a lava lake, because why not? <laughs> I think there's something, I don't know, just about living on the edge, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was really lame. <laughs> oh, excuse me again. Oh, lots of running, lots of running. Oops. And so this is the up ladder. It just leads to one place. I know, super exciting, or not. Eh. All right, so a uh, down ladder. Um, I also have some gold armor pieces for people if they wanted, and of course another end chest. I love my end chests. And this goes down. It goes by. The another fortress again, but that's not what we're here to see. So, so I have two access points to the same another fortress, which is actually a very large another fortress, if I do say so myself. But this is my another vacation home, and the reason I have these here is because when I was building this. Originally, uh, solid blocks, the new nether blocks, would still light on fire, so I had to put those there. Um, here's my little cage for my little guy. Isn't he cute? I'm so proud of him. And all of my nether wart, which is a lot, by the way. Oh, like half of it's have grown sometimes by the time I get done planting it. Um, hi dude, you're, you're in the wrong spot. Uh, this is going to be my nether home away from home. Uh, this is aka quote unquote my lava mine because, I mean, you just walk up and get lava buckets. Super easy. Um, yeah, so this is going to be all my nether storage. Obviously I haven't gotten as far as I would have liked on this. You are rude. Do I need to end you too? Sorry. He was very cute. Uh, here's some of my better armor and my entire set of enchanted gold armor. And I don't know, it's just kind of a cute little decorative house. I don't really have cute in my area or my tower, so. This is kind of my cutesy, yay, <laughs> kawaii type dealio. So yeah, and I kind of got, you know, a little bit of everything here. Um, I'm actually, to be completely honest, thinking about adding, oh wait, no, I can't waterlog things here, so never mind. <laughs> but yeah, I got my crafting table and I got my smoker and a lot of the thing, you know, different things. And yeah, a couple plants. Um, there's one of the lead sticks. There's just another plant. I was just, I don't know, I was being kind of decorative here. And some compasses. I don't have a lodestone here yet, so those are just regular compasses. But the concept is the, the similar, I guess. <laughs> um, up here was 
is my, um, what are those things called? Oh my gosh, I'm pulling a blank. Respawn anchor, and then on top of it, I was going to put my load zone. But I hadn't gotten that far yet, so no judgment. And yeah, so this is my little nether base. Home away from home type deal. I thought it was really cute. So yeah. And then this way I have this large, lovely pathway. See, this is like a really big nether fortress. Like it's freaking huge. I'm not even sure I adequately explored it all, to be completely honest. But yeah. <laughs> So then, this was one of the ways that I had not explored, so this is where I started exploring first. And this is a basalt delta up ahead. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here's the basalt delta. Um, so it's pretty cool. These are like technically quote unquote like inactive volcanoes. So that's pretty cool, and then you have like an ash, ashen particle effect, so I thought that was pretty cool. And then um, this way, as you can see I did a lot of exploring because that just goes on forever. Um, this way, I have um, a bastion. And yeah, so. <laughs> gonna nether is always lots of running of course excuse me Ooh. and I think we're coming up to it yeah okay there's the bastion right there it also happens to be in a red uh, mushroom forest thing so there's that yeah. And then this bastion came with a magma spawner. So, yeah, I just kind of kill things. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a reliable way to kill magmas. So, I just kind of crouch on these stairs and hit them with a sword. <laughs> Yeah, don't judge me. And I have a bunch of hoppers in there that end up at this chest. Which is full of random shit. Okay, we're just not gonna talk about that either. And once again, another end chest. I literally have an end chest everywhere that I possibly could. Anywhere that I'd ever need one, or think I'd need one, I place an end chest. Pretty much every new build that I do, I just place down an end chest and call it good. <laughs> so, yeah. And now we're gonna run our way back to uh, the nether portal, and then I will actually probably just start working on um, my little starter area so yeah gonna need a lot of oak again as always so i'm gonna place all of these mossy stone brick walls and then start chopping down more trees yay so yeah i'm gonna have quite a collection of everything when i'm done <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's gonna be so much. Excuse me again. Ooh, I'm getting tired. Mm. Here at our lovely little lab. I do this because of the gas. Don't hate on my ladder tube. Don't do it. Rude. Q. 
keeps me safe. It's blast resistant to magma or magma blast. I can't talk today. We're, we're just not gonna. Okay, and we're back in the overworld. There we go. And we're gonna run up this. But yeah, so lava makes a wonderful light source. By the way, I have discovered. For cool, not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna drop some of this th random stuff off in my not crap. <laughs> oh great. <laughs> All my random chests are full. No good. Sad face. I feel like Something is amiss here, but I can't figure out what. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, let's see. Is one of these open? Yeah, we're just gonna start shoving shit everywhere. Okay, one of these is pretty open. That works for me. <gasps> I almost lost, left my dresser open. <gasps> Alright, so we're gonna get nice. Oh, wait, I know where that goes. There's some leather in here. There we go. Um, that's down, so this is up. Okay. Alright, we're gonna head back. Thinking if I need anything. I don't think I do. Okay, we should be good. Whee! Alright. Why is it always nighttime? Wow, we are flying, literally. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I didn't fucking biff it. <laughs> Happens a lot, I don't know why. I just come flying in at like top speed and just wham into something. It's great. Oh yeah, we're gonna update the map, that's right. Oh yeah, look at this beautifulness. You can actually see this on the map. I'm so proud. <laughs> you can just see how level it is. Oh my gosh. Uh, Alright. I'm just gonna... Get rid of that. Uh, we're gonna... Put you back here. Uh, we're... Oh, that's one too far over. We're gonna grab... You... And you, and you, all right. All right, we got almost, but not quite, two stacks. Is that enough? We are about to find out. Hold on one second. Alrighty, I'm back. Sorry, my hubbin came in. It's all good, it's all good. Nobody's in trouble. <laughs> Been doing a lot of cleaning lately, so yeah. You're just showing me off how empty one of our little, like, we just throw everything areas was, so. Looks pretty good. He did a nice job. 
And I don't think we have quite enough to finish all of our little walls today. Which makes me sad because I kind of wanted to see them finished. But that's okay. At least, you know, a hair cow and it's annoying me. Hmm. But yeah. So we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we don't have enough. Sad face. Sad face. Sorry. We'll get pretty close. I mean, we only need maybe another stack. It's not that bad. So. Ugh. One step closer. And then I'll mess it up. How rude. Yeah, this will be about one more stack. And then I should, I think I'm done. With the walls. The little walls, anyway. Yeah, alright. Um. Oh yeah, trees. Lots and lots and lots of trees to go chop down. Okay, guys. Are, are you ready for this? Because I'm not ready for this. Why have I not been doing this? Where has my head been at? Yeah, that's my donkey. Don't don't judge my donkey. I like donkeys and mules more than horses. Simply because they have way more storage. It's ridiculous how much more storage they have. Oh yeah, wait. Horses don't have storage. I was so bummed about that. I kind of wish you could like either put a chest on them or put armor on them. Like you, you could um put a chest on your useless ones and then like put armor on like your fast one fast horses that you really like mm. or you know that'd be pretty cool but they didn't do that so rude oh that noise kind of startled me <laughs> not gonna lie don't judge me all right so much tree chopping and yes, I do play on peaceful on this world because I just like to build. I don't like being bothered by all the angry things. So, yeah. The only time I don't do peaceful is when I'm trying to get random stuff. So, don't hate. Don't hate on me. have another <laughs> golden apple to cure another villager. You know. I like doing my curing. God, that sounds like I'm like meat or something. <laughs> Alright. I think I went one too far. Yeah, there we go. Alright. So many leaves. We're just gonna destroy all the leaves. Alright. Um, there's that. And, yeah. Just some more chopping. All of that. We're gonna go up some more. Rude. Alright. And we're just gonna work our way down like I normally do on big trees. That's kind of why I'm annoyed with big trees, because it takes so much extra effort. And yeah. Although you do get quite a lot more wood out of big trees, not gonna lie. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, look at all this goodiness. Oops. 
Why? Stop. Okay. And just, you know, mowing down all the leaves, because we can. Just keep chopping, just keep chopping. <laughs> Uh. All right, and chop some of that. All right, and Let's see if we can get the rest of these leaves, or at least a pretty decent amount of them. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna chop this and. Yeah. Get it. Alright. That is not what I wanted to do. There we go. And I feel really dumb for not using scaffolding earlier. Hmm. Yeah. So much extra wood chopping for no reason. Pretty salty with myself right now. I'm being completely honest. Very salty with myself. Yeah. Bad. Alright. More chopping. Alright, so the goal right now is over two stacks of logs. So then I can hopefully finish this today. I don't think I'll get a full two stacks of logs today before my stream is up, but we're gonna try because we can. <laughs> so bear with me guys, bear with me. Uh, I think we're gonna start ignoring some of the leaves too. We're just gonna get like the absolute basics of it out of the way. I don't know, but I'm going to miss opportunities for apples is the only problem. And I need those for villagers, so I don't know. Oh, I forgot to show you guys my little spider farm, but that's okay. It's the same setup pretty much as all the other ones, just for spiders and string and yeah. You know, I really should start playing on hard mode all the time, so I can at least get used to it. I don't know. I don't know, I kind of just want, you know, a day of, of peacefulness, maybe. Yeah, we'll go with that. I just want a day of peacefulness where I can be, just build and be myself, and, and, God, I need some water. Do you hear my voice? It's embarrassing. So like squeaky. Actually I have water right here, so I'm gonna drink some water really quick. Alright. Oh that yeah, that does sound a little bit better. <sighs> yeah, was, my voice was sounding rough. Still sounds a little rough, but not not like it was. Oh my. Alright, we're already on our second stack, guys. A promising sign. Alright, we're gonna chop. And let's see if we can get to. Alright, we are we are gonna go straight up till we reach uh, the sky. There we go. Alright. There we go, we reached the sky, guys. Should I do the, the Woody impression? Reach for the sky. The only reason I know that at all, to be completely honest, is because of my two toddlers, and we have a Toy Story book that basically like flies through the entire Toy Story. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's the most basics of it, and then, uh, like, that, that's it. Like, wow. <laughs> Some pictures, you know? 
<laughs> it's pretty good. But, yeah. And we watch, like, Toy Story a lot, if I'm being completely honest. <sighs> I think I've seen all, like, most of the kids' movies at least half a dozen times. Which is cool, because I like a lot of, like, the Disney movies and stuff, but, oh. Yeah, it's, it's it's a lot. Although I do really like both Frozen's. Don't hate on me for saying that. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. There's I really like how she kind of gave up being Queen of Arendelle in the second one. But she's still like a leader. But she's a leader of her mom's people, and yeah, I don't know, I, I like it, I like, yeah, <laughs> sorry for the ooey gooey moment there, it happens every now and then, for the feels, you know, all the, all the emotions, yeah, at least I'm not like a teenager with the raging hormones, and oh my god, and I mean, I could be. I could do that. I really could. I'll threaten that from now on. <laughs> Don't make me turn into a teenager. Oh, I should do that to my daughter when she gets older. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Not gonna lie. It'd be golden. She'd hate me so much. Uh, but what are parents if they aren't there to at least embarrass their children a little bit here and there, right? Am I right? Okay, you don't you don't have to acknowledge that 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 was terrible. I know I know how terrible it was. It's okay. We can just all cry together. It's cool. Just share our emotions. Okay, <laughs> it really was terrible. And it's raining. I don't know why I did that in a sing-a-song voice, but I did. I'm just gonna have to accept it, I guess. <laughs> oh, I saw an apple. There we go. Don't want to lose those apples. Seven apples. That's not bad, considering eight apples. Since I just kind of started. Yes, I'm going to be a little bit impressed with myself. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. All right. Oh, we're almost at two stacks of wood. All right, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, actually. We're doing a lot better than I anticipated. So yeah, now I'm now I'm kind of feeling it. I did not think we would get this far with wood. To be completely honest. Uh, hopefully it's enough. I'm gonna be uh, upset if this isn't enough wood. If, yeah, I will be kind of upset because I don't have to come back up here again. You know what? Let's aim for three stacks. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna aim for several stacks. Actually, I need that birch too because that's what I'm making. Um, all of the campfires out of is birch because I. Getting kind of sick of looking at oak <laughs> all the time. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go for the birch trees too. Don't worry. Have no fear, my peeps. We're just, you know, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. Oh. All right. Um. So I've been watching like. What am I stuck on? I've been watching, not gonna lie. Um, Brad Mondo on YouTube. He's a hairstylist, and I've actually been learning a lot about hair because of this guy. Um, so I used to deep condition my hair with coconut oil, and I was very pleased with the results, but I've been, he's like been trash talking coconut oil, and it actually makes sense. Like, it, kind of puts a seal on your hair so new moisture can't get in. 
So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. See, I always, like, wash my hair out. So, I feel like I kind of got the benefits of both. I don't know. It did good things for me. Um, he didn't say it was particularly bad for the hair. It's just the effect, I guess, if you did away, prevented it from accepting more outside moisture. So, I think... When I start deep conditioning my hair again, I'm just gonna do my two hours of coconut oil instead of two to three hours instead of all night. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do it that way. And see how that goes. Cause I don't know, I kinda kinda liked doing it, if I'm being completely honest. And I liked how my hair always felt afterwards. Super soft and shiny and yeah I'm gonna start drinking more water so that I'm properly hydrated and more responsible about taking my vitamins so yeah I don't know I'm, I feel like 2021 I'm really gonna step up my taking care of myself game that's what, uh, that's what I'm hoping I started it this year, but this year, let's be honest, was complete and total garbage for everyone. So, um, I'm still trying to be healthier overall. Like, I'm trying to get into some more, like, of a routine. Um, trying to stick with doing my vitamins daily. Um, doing this actually has really helped me, even though it's only been like a few days, has really been helping me like get into an evening routine, weirdly, because I like brush my teeth beforehand because it kind of gives me that little bit of confidence that I feel like I'm missing, even though you guys can't see it, like, I don't know, I just feel like it helps me. I've also been getting into a better routine with my kids, more... Uh, just more of a routine and yeah it's something that I've honestly really been needing for a while so it just kind of makes me happy <clears throat> so I'm really hoping to stick with the streaming and talking to nobody <laughs> like I've been doing um, I'm hoping to eventually get a camera we'll see how that goes because you know COVID. <laughs> we're, we're just going to blame everything on COVID at this point. Let's be real. Guys, everything's COVID's fault. Whether it actually is or not. You know how it goes. So, yeah. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to keep going up right now. Until we get to the very tippy top. And then we're going to work our way down. Like we have been. Oh, that was a little too far. Alright, there we go. I went a little crazy with that, guys. Don't. Uh, I kind of wish I could just see if I was crouching or not. They had like a little thing where you could see if you were crouching, and I actually really liked it. And I think the kids like sat on my keyboard and like change the settings and I just have been kind of lazy and haven't gone to go figure it out yet. If we're being completely honest. And yeah. <laughs> Should probably do that this evening after I uh, get done with this. Alright, down two more. Start chopping some of these blocks. Alright. And this is a big old tree. Not that I'm complaining, but this is a big old tree. Ugh, I hope I get a satisfactory amount of wood out of this. Along with saplings. I'm gonna have like a double chest of just saplings. That's a lot of saplings. And a lot of sticks, but that's that's gonna we're gonna make torches and campfires and stuff out of the sticks so we won't have as many of those 
Plus, I can just craft them out of bamboo anyway. <laughs> Try collecting. Oh, that scared me. Not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna collect some of this because I feel like I'm gonna lose some of it before I get down. Maybe not. I don't know. And yeah. All right, we're gonna go back up. Oh, is there more stuff down there? There's more stuff down here. And yeah. I am, like, a really big fan of scaffolding. I really like it. Uh, it's really convenient. It does not seem to do a whole lot to whatever you hit it with. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just me. It could just be me. I don't know. I like scaffolding. But I'm one of those really weird people, so... You know. Whatever. That is definitely not an axe <laughs> that I was just trying to do that with. Uh, yeah. Embarrassing. Um, that looks like another big oak tree. And... And we're gonna chop some of this up. We're gonna go down three. Oh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way! Eh! Rude! I thought I was... Okay. I thought I was crouched. And I saw an apple, so we're going for it. <laughs> Just murder this tree. Merc. <laughs> because, you know, I can. Alright, we're gonna chop this. Chop, 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 chop. Don't make fun of my stupid. I don't even know what that accent was trying to be. <laughs> I was just saying chop weirdly, to be completely honest. Oy, oy, oy. Alright. And here we go. All right. Um, I feel like I'm stuck on something. I don't being stuck. Oh yeah! Look at that. We're up to 18 apples. Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Um. already over three stacks you see that did you see that we are over three stacks I will take it we're gonna we're gonna finish these trees so <laughs> all right um yeah we're gonna we're gonna take care of some of these trees at another day Oh, later. Maybe later tonight. <laughs> so many trees. Uh, should I replant? Or should I start planting down there? I'm going to start planting down here. We're going to do it down here from now on. Um, I'm just going to... Dump all of this. For the moment. And then, yeah. All right. Uh, you're gonna go there, and you're gonna go there, and ah, oh, three and a half. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So, we're gonna just loveliness down. 
Okay, I'm missing two. There, there. Oh, I'm still missing one. Well, we're gonna we're gonna come up here anyway. So six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, just six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ow. Actually, I probably don't need to count because there's that. Wow. Wow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. I just I have to count. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to learn how to count today. My name is Sailor Witch. We're going to learn how to count today, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun with this. We're just gonna blame it on I'm tired. <laughs> that was a whole freaking stack? What the hell? I don't like this. I feel like we're gonna be running out already. I don't like this. I should. Mm. All right. Oh yeah, we got this side. All right, so that side's done. Oh, listen to that rain. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. They actually did pretty good on the rain sounds. I am impressed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and down and um we're gonna use the shorter stack first of course. Oh I'm so mad if we can't finish at least the logs I'm gonna be upset. Oof, that's going to be rough. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't like this. How am I already? I don't understand. Why? I'm also using, like, a fuck done. So. Okay, that one's done. That one's done. Wait, that one's done. That one's done. That one's done. And that one's done. Oh, we're done. Okay. Uh, alright. So I was freaking out over nothing, guys. It's cool. It's cool. We're just not gonna, just not gonna talk about it. Okay? Alright. Excuse me. <sighs> alright, we're gonna, we're gonna put the glass in. And there it is. Oop, there it is. We're just gonna load up on glass right now. Okay. Alright. I guess I don't judge me. Alright. Oh, I should probably grab my silk touch. Um, actually, what am I, what am I doing? This is so much easier. Okay, we're just gonna ignore how I was doing that before. This is why it takes me forever to do anything <laughs> in Minecraft. Oh, don't, don't, don't judge me. <laughs> 
Uh, do you have glass? Okay, you have glass. So there's two sides that have glass. There's three sides that have glass. This side does not have glass. Oh, we're using less glass than I anticipated. All right, it's sunny out. <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? Pouring rain and like, bloop, it's sunny. Fuck y'all, fuck y'all, crappy weather. It's, it's sunny now, guys. <laughs> no, that was great. All right, I made my day. Oh, that could have been bad. All right, so we are done with the glass for the moment. All right, so the next thing is, where was the glass? Yep. The next thing will be, oops, the campfires. So we're just gonna throw this in with the torches. And we need a shovel. There's a poor unsuspecting shovel. Alright, so campfires. We're just gonna load up on campfires right now. I don't know why you can't stack these. Trust me, I was annoyed too. Alright. Um... Can I do it from... Oh yeah, I can do it from up top. Okay. I think. I think my reach will work. Alright, so... I don't think the fire spreads to half slabs, but... Yeah... All right, I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, this is gonna look dope. This one I'll probably have to do down below. Um, there we go. So I don't fall off the edge here. Sorry, I need the concentration. Sorry, I'm not talking as much. Oops, wrong way. Oh, you have to do this from the. Oh wait, I'm crouched. <laughs> you have to do this from the top. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you guys hear the whining? I heard the whining. I definitely heard the whining about to start. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gold. Oh, this is why I wish this stuff would stack. And there's the whining again. I really should stop whining. Seriously. Should stop. All right, we're gonna uncrouch and hit all this up. All right, and we're gonna fill this with more campfires because we can. And boop. No boop. Okay, there's boop. 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 Okay, uncrouch. This is turning into quite the build. But, yeah, so... I kind of like this wall. I liked how it turned out. I kind of want to do, like, a copy of this, but another version. Like, further back from... Like, do maybe the red mushroom stuff? That'd be pretty cool, right? But, like, in the lava. That'd be so dope. 
I don't even think you know. Mm. Alright, we gotta go up top. And honestly, we could do this one down here. It's just easier. I'm probably switching back and forth. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't have enough campfires <laughs> made for sure. Oh, good lord. Okay, gonna run up here, grab more campfires, and we're probably gonna have to craft some more. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, we're gonna use all these up, and then we're gonna fill that double chest, and then we're gonna put the rest of them out. Yeah. Right? Sound like a plan? That sounds like a plan to me. Alright. I feel like, uh, there's pillars here. There needs to be pillars here. You're right, and I know, you know I'm right. You know it. Alright, so, one, two, three, okay, yeah, that does, I, I feel like that looks better already, yeah, that looks way better, that looks way, way better, okay, alright, Alright, we're gonna go to the left, and we're gonna put campfires on the corners, so that way they're, they're already there. We'll do that. That makes sense. Logic! What? What is that? I think we'll do that with all of them, and then we'll come back through afterwards. Alright. Yeah, boy. That way there, we're not placing logs in weird spots either. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this plan. I really, really like this plan. Alrighty. And there we go. Uh, so many logs, so little time. Well, we were going to the left, I believe. Yeah, yeah, we're going to the left. All right, one, two, three, all right, and then finish this up, and it's looking good. This is gonna look snazzy. Alright. Oh yeah, we forgot to do the shovels. Uh, no. There's that. And yeah, we run to the left again. Oh, perfect! And we have enough to finish at least the corners. Alright, alright. Oh, we're gonna have to make more campfires, though. Alright, this is really starting to come together. I'm really, really liking this. I'm really, really enjoying this. Alright. And we're in our last pillar. Dang it! Actually, I thought we had more wood somewhere. Maybe we didn't. Alright. Uh, let's see. To the left would be... Yep. Alright, here we go. Whew. Oh, we just have six birch logs. That is definitely not enough. Alright, let's see how many campfires. We can get two campfires, so there's... Ooh. 
that's rough. Oh, that's two more than we had, I guess. That is still pretty rough, though. If we're being honest, that's still pretty rough. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna go uh, this way. Alrighty. Come back up the stairs. Swap out tools again. Okay, we're gonna go with you and you. Alright. Yeah, there's my birch forest. We're gonna get some birch. Actually, we probably need some... We're gonna take a couple of these oak trees, because I still think I need some more... Um, oak log, or oak planks, and stuff like that. Uh, let's see if we can get a stack again. Uh, I really don't like this part. It's just too questionable. Alright, we're gonna aim for a stack. If we don't get a stack, it's cool. I just had like two more block blocks that needed it. And we're not replanting trees, that's right. So yeah, <laughs> here we go again, <laughs> more junk, <laughs> that's not a log, what am I doing, what am I doing with my life, is this what it's come to, uh, do I want to deal with another big oak tree, yeah we're going to deal with another big oak tree, fuck it. Oh, I don't have my scaffolding. Yeah, we're not dealing with a big oak tree right now. <laughs> we're just going to deal with the little oak trees. So yeah, we're probably not going to get a stack then. At least from here. Alright. Chopping, chopping, chopping. Sounds like I'm saying shopping. What the heck? All right, more digging, more digging, more digging. Digging, breaking, leaves, whatever. It happens, it's, it's, I'm, I'm over it. It's cool. And here we go. And more, more, more. <laughs> so much wood and leaves and saplings. Yeah, just just ignore my evil laugh. That was that was terrible. I know. Um. Oh, helps if I'm paying attention 100%. Why did I stop hitting things? Wonder what's going on. Hi, my name's Sailor Witch. <laughs> uh, I actually got that from a person I used to work with. Her name was Tiani. And every time she'd do something dumb, she would like reintroduce herself in this really goofy voice. And she'd be like, Hi, my name's Tiani. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It made us always laugh. But. I don't work with her anymore. We all miss her. I'm actually the only girl at my job. Isn't that cray cray? The only girl on a crew of like 20 plus guys. It gets crazy, I will admit. Thankfully, um, we all get along pretty well. We all understand each other really well. I wasn't the only girl until like a month or two ago, so. Um, but yeah, we all understand each other really well, and um, a lot of us actually hang out after work. It's pretty nice. Um, my 
job. I don't know. I find my job relaxing. I really enjoy my job, but I know a lot of people don't. It's a lot of very um, manual labor. So, yeah. Man, there's a lot of big oak trees. I am gonna break in some logs later. Oh my. When I actually remember scaffolding. Because now that I've I've done it with scaffolding, I don't understand what I was doing before. <laughs> like, what was I doing? <laughs> Why? I wonder it was not making any sense. Alright, and then after this, we're going to go clear my little birch forest. That's, that's the plan, anyway. I don't know why I just cleared all of that. We're just gonna clear all these lower branches that I can reach while I'm here. Yeah, we're just gonna clear all of this since I've already done it anyway. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So this is the plan for down below is um, three by threes, but um, yeah, three by threes of torches topped with glass and then level with like the rest of um, uh, the grass and stuff and then in the center of everyone the goal is to have a large oak tree with all of the reachable leaves like trimmed up. I think that would look pretty cool so that's what I'm gonna do. And if it doesn't look cool then I'll just chop them all down <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Or I might do like tall birch, Just put like three blocks down, uh, three dirt blocks down, and plant a birch on top of it. And then once the birch grows, take the birch logs and take the dirt blocks out and then fill it in. That'd be pretty cool too, actually. But a lot of work, I think it would just look cooler. I think birch is really pretty. Mm. And it would be really high up too. That's like part of the goal is I want trees, but I want them to be like higher up, I guess. So then they're like, you don't feel as closed in. Feel me? Haha, <laughs> do you see that little hop? <laughs> One hop this time. <laughs> Alrighty. Hui. What is that noise? Cow, is that you? Like, what? You sound like you're a drum. What the heck? <laughs> Why you gotta be weird like that? <laughs> Alright. We gotta go take care of that birch forest. Man, I got really far away. Holy crap. Holy goodness. Oh my. Uh, I think I'm gonna fill like this in. Just make like a little. Yeah, there we go. Good idea. It's a good idea. I'm gonna fill it in and make it look kind of more natural. And yeah. Alright. Oh, yep, I needed those. Wait, what did I need those for? Oh, I just needed... Yeah, I just needed, like, two more. And I think it was on this one. Here we go. I don't know, should I make... Alright, we're, we're gonna go chop down the birch first. Before I make a final decision... We're gonna go chop down all the seal. All the birch. 
and see where we're at. So yeah. But yeah, so that's what it looks like. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I feel like I'm gonna get less apples off of the birch, but that's okay. I just wanna, I just wanna, you know, cut down some more of this loveliness here. I do like how the texture pack makes them look like cherry blossom trees. But it also makes me miss Japan. Sadly, I do miss Japan a lot. It's a beautiful country. As you can tell, because my texture pack is like Hattori, Japanese, Asian style. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, one hop this time. One hop this time. One hop this time. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Why do I love Minecraft so much? What, what am I doing? Just a bunch of blocks. But then I just... I just can't stop! Oh my god! Like, all consuming. Alright. Alright. Ugh, I think it would be really fun to work with, like, for Mojang. I think that'd be super cool. I don't know what I would do, because I'm not, like, I'm not really a builder. I could be the suggestion person. <laughs> Vote on different things. You know, what if? Pretty cool, though. All right. There is a lot. I didn't realize I had this many birch trees out here. Why didn't I do this sooner? I am getting a lot of saplings, though, I will say. I'm very pleased. No apples, like I thought. I don't think birch, like, drop apples. That's what I was kind of thinking. All right, we got... A our first stack. Oh, that's not actually. <laughs> we got our first stack of birch uh, saplings. We're working on our second stack. It's not really our first stack, I guess. Is that a dog? I have plenty of dogs. I don't need any more. Or domesticated wolves. Got plenty of those. Oh. But he sounds so cute! <laughs> Alright. <gasps> now for the actual chopping. And then I think I'll be done for the night. I just really wanted to get this done. Alright. Ooh, I could do, like, my four favorite types of trees. Ooh, light bulb. I don't know, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right. Just chopping down trees. Don't mind me. Uh, I might get a little over a stack. All right, all right. Um, 
Looks like we might be digging into some of those oak logs. Which makes me sad, because now I'll have to go chop down more oak logs. But, yeah, I just, I really kind of want to get this done. Or at least that section done. Hopefully, fingers crossed, by next week, I will have it done. Hopefully. Uh, there we go. Alright. Make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Because I do do that sometimes. Doesn't look like it. Alright. So, got plenty of... Really? Really? Is this how it's going to be? Alright. Alright. I'm just going to chop you down too then, I guess. Rude. I was thinking I was done. <laughs> I'm just I'm talking to a virtual tree, guys. I might need help. <laughs> oh, oh, excuse me again. Sorry about that. All right. Oh yeah, we're gonna plop these where they need to go. Now we're gonna do. Oh no, I did this wrong. Okay. Sorry guys, I'm like super organized. My my apologies. Alright. Go that way. I'm gonna grab some sticks. I'm gonna grab some coal. And we are gonna craft some of this nonsense. All right, and then we're gonna place it, <laughs> I guess. Oh no, oh no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted! Ah! Oh yeah, that's right, we were gonna fill the double chest first. Well, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Alright. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. So we're gonna grab all of this junk. And yeah. Here we go. And craft 31 of these puppets. Alright, and then we're just gonna start shoving this everywhere. Alright, pick up that one. Alright, if that is not enough campfires, I don't know what to tell you. Like, that, that is a lot of campfires. We are, however. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab some of these. Definitely gonna finish making more torches. Because, yeah, why not? And then, yeah, so I guess next time will be all of that nonsense. Alright, we're gonna grab Le Shovel. And we're gonna switch a it really quick. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, I have seeds in my inventory. We don't need those. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we're golden. What? What? What was that? What? What was it? What am I doing? 
Okay. Uh, we were going to the left, to the left, to the left. Alright. And another little section is complete. And we're gonna just do that and go down the line. Oops. I forgot to switch it. There we go. Here we go. Next section. So we're only gonna get through like a couple sections apparently tonight, which makes me kind of sad, but that's okay. We, we tried. Got a decent amount done, but. Oh, I missed it. There we go. But here we go. Alright. Uh, there we go. And... That last one. And... Looks like we just have enough for that last little bit. And then a very little start on the next one. Looks like it's probably just going to be one, maybe two campfires. I think it's just going to be one. I remember this is nine wide. And... Oh wait, yeah, okay, so yeah, we'll just have enough for one campfire in the next, next bit, and we're gonna call it good for the evening. Alright, and we'll just place this last little campfire to the left, and boom! All right, so straight across should be, yep, there it is. And that's gonna be it for the evening. Um, yeah, so everyone, hope everyone has a good night. Please stay healthy and happy. Live long and prosper, my friends.